Greg from Vulture Systems here. We had some questions recently, so this week's tip of the week is how many sensors can you put on a given handheld? The answer to that is as many as you want. You can have up to six unique sensors assigned to a given button, but there is no reason that you can't put more than one sensor on a single button. Uh, we have customers that run upwards of 40, 50 sensors on a given handheld. So to show that, I wanted to uh, set up a pretty extreme situation here where I have 12 different sensors. I have them all assigned to sensor one. You'll see here if I push button one and pull it, all of the sensors light up and they respond. The only issue with doing this is when you are using it as a two-way device, so if I wanna pull the status of it, I will pull all 12 of these, all 12 will respond and you will get a response from one of them. You don't know which one you're getting. So if you're fishing really far away, where you might be pushing the boundaries of the limits, uh, you don't get the pull feature like you normally do. But if you're fishing close enough, no reason you can't do this. There's some other reasons that it's nice as well. So I can still do the white light mode. So if I hold the button down, you'll see all of the lights turned on at once here, which is kind of a nice feature if a snowmobile is coming through. Um, and there's one more feature that I'm gonna show you as well that a lot of people really like. To show the other feature here, I just put all of them in alarm. This would be the equivalent of you're picking all your tip-ups up at the end of the night. So if I go into wireless shutdown mode, so I hold buttons five and six on the new handheld that's labeled sensor shutdown. And you can see here, it's doing that chirping noise. So if I have them all assigned to one button, if I go ahead and hit button one now, which I have them all assigned to, they all turn off at once. So that's another feature. Take care, have a good day.